So let's let's start from the beginning. Um, how did you get into the adult industry? I got into the adult industry in kind of an interesting way. Um, I started by doing modeling, and I did like a lot of modeling that would work for short girls. So, boudoir. How tall um, are you? I'm five one. Okay, like five one and a half ish. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm taking that half inch. <laughs> <laughs> you take that half inch. I'm, you take it. It makes me feel so big. <laughs> but um, so. I was doing modeling and a lot of stuff like that, and I actually worked with a creator, a creator who is a comedian. And back, this is back when Vine allowed nudity. Oh my god, yeah. Vine! I was talking to somebody about that the other day. That <laughs> that doesn't exist in any form whatsoever anymore, no. right? Mm-mm. Not at all. That, I mean, that was the original TikTok. It was, and they allowed nudity and really, really fun content, and they didn't make it. 15 seconds and then three minutes and then 10 minutes they you stuck to the you only got 10 seconds that's all you get yeah that's as much as you're gonna get yeah so the comedy had to be really fast and really quick and i worked with a creator who had paid me for a photo shoot to work together um at one point and we just continued working together and collaborating making those little videos and he had a premium snapchat and he said i think you would do really good at it uh you have a following and you know you don't get naked anywhere other than with me, just a little a little bit of titty isn't a big mm-hmm. deal. So I started a premium Snapchat, and overnight I made, I think, $10,000, and I was able to quit my job and reinvest that money into starting a business that helped girls sell premium Snapchats. Kept going with that. Um, that must have blown your fucking mind. It did. It absolutely did. I... <sighs> That same day that I decided to start it, I had gotten a call from my manager who called me and said, I need you to come in. Someone hasn't come in. And I was working at a restaurant as a server. She said, I need you to come in. Um, We we have an 18 top. It was a really nice restaurant. They needed somebody there. And I said, I I can't. I'm 45 minutes away. There's no way I can do that. And she proceeded to yell at me and just degrade me in the – a way a professional person can, but saying, like, you don't take your job seriously. This could be blah, 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 blah. Anything that you could say. And that evening, I was like, you know what? I've been thinking about this. Let me just see. What's the worst that can happen? And I had a plan for a business, and I would had a plan for everything that I wanted to do with it, and I just kind of pulled the trigger after that and left that job the next day. And ever since then, I've been doing adult work. Mm-hmm. So, but after the premium Snapchat, I started for myself. I reinvested that, started a company that helped girls sell their own premium Snapchat, which was really wonderful. Um, I got to meet a lot of incredible women that had the same ideas as me, and it was kind of my first taste of. I grew up in Tennessee, so it was kind of my first taste of like open sexual like views and people that were like minded like me. Um, and then after that, I just wanted to keep going and I eventually got into mainstream porn because of all of those weird little things so because of comedy I'm a porn star it's weird and because <laughs> because your restaurant manager yelled at you yes because uh, honestly I appreciate it I really really do there's a Isn't lot it funny how like those little moments that don't feel so good in that moment end up leading you to something better absolutely that's I mean people say all the time it's the journey blah 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 and yeah. Realistically, it is absolutely the journey. Every time in my life where I've been faced with like trials and tribulations, it's led to awesome decisions, to yeah. be honest. Really, really great, great parts of my life. So. Yeah. I saw a quote the other day that said, um, smooth seas does not a good sailor make. No. And I don't know why that like, and we all know this, but sometimes it's ni- nice to have things summed up in little like memes and quotes. And I was just like, that is so true. And you think about all of the difficult situations that you experienced in your life and how all of them were building blocks to make a better you. Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of people just want to get to the end of things. Yeah. Which, you know, if you just wanted to get to the end of things, then you would be at the end of your life really, really quick. Yeah. Really, really quick. Yeah. So it's all the things that happen in between it that make it worth living. It's, uh, you know, it's just, it's a very cool thought to have. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because I was actually going through a lot like a a lot of career mishaps that got me to start this podcast. Like I wouldn't have started this podcast if I hadn't like been fired from Playboy and like, you know, had a little like 
blip in the radar with twisties and I like literally thought I like was never going to shoot again. And I do want to say this incredible. Absolutely amazing thing. Not only has it been good for you, but for the industry, this is incredible and I'm very appreciative of you making that choice and being able to. Thank you to everyone that had a Holly Randall do this because this is it's really rare that adult performers or people that are sex workers in general are able to have a platform where I'm not stuck in a dryer. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. Wait, I should do a podcast series called stuck in a dryer. And then the girl's stuck in a dryer and I put a micro and I have, no, 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 here this we go. This is going reverse of what and I then wanted. I have, and then I have an opening <laughs> and then there's a mic there and they're stuck in the dryer. And then like, I ask them like questions about their life. <laughs> I'm telling you, I feel like that's my million dollar idea. It would be good. That's TikTokable. The 15 second little segments of that, they would eat it up. You're like, wait a second. Wait a second. This is like a really good idea. Let's get on that set design. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Well, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate that. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.